Okay, now we're going to continue down the tools here. Naming tool. Uh, you remember earlier how I just named these with the left already in front of them. You did. You don't have to do that. You can go to the naming tool, and you can stick in a prefix or postfix as you need to. If you discover, oh, I need to add this thing in front of 20 different joints, then you can just go to the naming tool and do that. The paint tool is uh, fairly interesting. I believe the paint tool sets vertex weights which used to be used with bones and but Cinema 4D no longer supports bones they only support joints but uh, I do believe this has a use I'm just not quite sure what it is at the moment I know I actually prefer bones for a reason but they no longer have them so <coughs> the reason was I could actually use it as clothing everything is dependent on a small little tag here which we'll get to later okay the weight tool now we can't use this tool yet because we haven't applied all of our joints here to the mesh. That probably brings up the next set of joint of tools we would like to use here. So we have it mirrored. We already have our joints mirrored. Create IK chain. Let's not do that first. What we want to do is bind. So if we select our root and select our model, if we go to bind it won't work very good at all. You'll notice the objects in here <coughs> is just the root and not everything else. So if we go to the weight tool we won't be able to do anything at all. So let's control Z undo that a few times. What you want to do is click down here and shift click everything. Select everything we don't necessarily need the root, it's just an all object. And then we can go to commands bind. And now all of our bones are connected to the mesh. Some to parts we don't want them to connect to, but it's okay, it's all automatic. We can change how the weights are distributed. And you'll probably wonder where these colors come from. These colors are automatic if we go to the weight tool. And you'll notice I have this set to W. I had to set that manually. Uh, you can set that if you'd like to. W is usually... Where is it here? The world axis thing. I don't even see it. Oh, here it is. Yes use world or object coordinate system that's usually what W is for but I made W the weight tool so here we go we select our we select our joint and then we can start adding weight or deleting weight we go to W again here's the strength so I notice how that you can see the yellow brightness and you notice if I go off of it it'll slowly start to dim down you can adjust that by using the hardness here. In this case, I uh, I usually like to always keep it at 100. I'll just change the strength if I want anything less. And I usually go in intervals of maybe quarter, so 25, 0, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, or intervals of 5, 20, 40. 60, 80, 100, and 0. That's just the way I like to keep things organized. So you can go around and paint through. Now it's also visible only. You can paint in the behind behind it also. So Notice I actually am painting it. I'm clicking on it and I'm painting it to get rid of the weight that this bone had or this joint had earlier. <coughs> so you probably noticed it did have something on it. Oh, I see. I got that other guy. Those other guys up there. Hit W again. 
to go back to the options that we have here. Let's go back to, oh, not selected, visible only. So there is the result of the bind pose. It automatically sets a lot of this stuff up, so you don't have to. But you will have to refine it, unless you want to be uh, accused of being a really lazy rigger. But rigging isn't just about setting these up. This is actually a minor part of the rigging. Just setting bones to a to a mesh is a minor thing. Actually setting up the controls for people to use to actually be able to use the uh, the joints that you have set up. That's what rigging is uh, really about. But you gotta have the joints and you gotta have it tied to the mesh before you can do anything with it. So I'm just, uh, right now you'll notice I'm getting rid of these. I'm holding down on control and clicking. Because I don't want these tied to the head. These are just for the arms here. <coughs> Alright, so that works. The others probably went straight to the spine. Nope. Okay. Don't want this on here. And after this, I'll show how I have my actual how I have my actual model set up. So do that. Visible only. So let's go ahead and move this around though, just to see if everything works. And notice there's no weight on the head, so the head doesn't move. Probably a good thing to do would be to add an extra joint here. So go to joint. Oh, we have a joint. Stick it in here. Move it up. Have that for the upper part there. Of course, so you probably wouldn't want it to pivot from way down there. So we may want to stick this in alignment with the rest of these here. So there. And be spine four, neck, and also I just control dragged and drop the head. So notice we did this after the fact. We go back to the weight tool, which is W. I have set as W. You'll have to set that as W if you'd like to. Go back to the weight tool. Notice, oh, I try to paint and I can't do anything. Oh, what's the deal here? Okay, the deal is that they're not in your tag. We just added these. All we have to do is select them, drop them in here. Now they're part of the tag. Now if we hit W. Oopsie. We can use them. All right. Wait. There we go. And you can always add more for every every other part of the head as necessary. So even though you're adding them all to one bone, even though you'd like to control the jaws and the cheeks and the eyebrows and everything else, that's okay. You can always go back to it. Maybe a little bit up there. Alright. That's about it. For this tutorial here. I'll see you in the next one.